I feel like I have a sack of potatoes on my eyes right now, but that's okay. Warning, I made myself look really repulsive in this video, which made me want to delete it like 7,000 times, but then I realized I don't really care. But don't come at me in the comments because mm, then I will care, but then I won't. Anyways, hope it made you laugh. Here we go. Hello queens, I'm Shanice Teresa and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome. So, as you can see, rude. So, as you can see, um, well, if you can't see, I'm in my PJs, just woke up, haven't brushed my teeth, haven't done my hair, haven't done my makeup, haven't done anything. This is typically like an everyday weekend thing for me because like I hate getting ready. No, I love getting ready, I just don't have the time or patience. But let me tell you something. I was watching, I was going through like my news feed on YouTube. I honestly, if you know who I'm talking about, please comment down below, but I can't remember and I can't find it anymore. I probably could find it, I didn't actually look because I have no patience or time but I saw this 24-hour challenge thing where you go from like Chucky to like Fiona so like that's what I wanted to do today because I think transformations are amazing and I look like garbage and I can look like a pretty decent human being so I just kind of wanted to go through the process with you guys and I thought it would be fun though if my future husband is watching me right now Yes, you have to wake up to this every day, but I can look pretty good, so. If you want to stay tuned and watch my, I guess, I mean, it's not really going to be, a, I mean, I'm going to start today, but I'm only doing one appointment today. So, like, I guess it's going to be 24 hours, but it's not 24 hours, maybe, like, 12. But we're just going to call it a 24-hour challenge because I'm too lazy to count how many hours this is going to take. But if you want to stay tuned and watch that, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And let's get into the full body scan of what we look like from the start because... It's bad. Okay. This is it. My legs haven't been shaved in probably a month because I just, it's winter time here in Canada and I don't show my legs, so like why waste my time shaving them? Because I don't have the time and I'm not gonna show you because I look like a mix between a black bear and Chewbacca. So this is my nasty face with all my pimples on it. I probably have to wax my upper lip too because I'm black and European and I just grow hair f***ing everywhere, so that's great. Probably too much information, but my hair is curly, all whack, look at that. Mm. Haven't washed my hair in probably a week because I hate washing my hair because I want it to grow so the oils make it grow. I'm just making excuses, I'm just too lazy. And I haven't brushed my teeth, so that's good. I mean, let's get to the transformation because I can't stand looking at myself like this anymore. I'm sorry if you're scarred already, but like, I don't look like this all the time. I know I'm just like, like, I can make myself look presentable, but most of the time I don't leave my house. So why? And my nails aren't done. So this is like old nails from like mm, three weeks ago. So that's the first on the agenda today is to get my nails done. I'm actually gonna put a full set on. I haven't had a full set in since September and it's December. So that's September, November, December. Okay, that's three months. Okay, I'm dumb. Anyways, so let's get started on this journey to looking not like this. Okay? Okay. Okay, so it's day two. I'm still in my PJs. I'm actually in half PJs, half workout outfit because I just finished a workout. I thought it would be perfect to work out before I actually transform into a decent human being. I got my nails done yesterday. So we started yesterday. Look at that. Wow, I actually got my claws back. They don't look disgusting anymore. Nails, bam, 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 bam. Anyways, now that you see me look like this. Anyways, now that you see me look like this, unfortunately, I'm very sorry, but it's, it's part of the process. But now it's time to go take a shower, brush my teeth, actually wash my hair, and straighten my hair. So let's go do that now. You better work! Okay guys, so now it's the next step in our transformation. Unfortunately, I have my ring light on. Um, you can see over there that the sun's peeking through, but it's very harsh and it's literally sitting right in front of my eyes and I'm like squinting the whole time. So I had to close my windows 
or my blinds and put the ring light on. So that's why we are super bright and we look awesome. It's because of the ring light. Anyways, so I told you guys that I took a shower. I straightened my hair for once, which is not gonna last, so I don't know, ew. It's not gonna last, but like it adds to like the glam today. I waxed not very well because it's painful and I can't stand it. I plucked my eyebrows, I attempted to wax them, but that didn't work out. And I shaved my legs. My legs are nice and smooth for once. So let's just get into the glam. I put my moisturizer already on. I already put my moisturizer on. I use the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is my second bottle or tube, and I need to go get another one. There's still lots in there, but I fold it up so like it comes, all of it comes out because it's expensive, so I need to use all of it, okay? And then I just need to put some chapstick on. I'm putting Vaseline on. It's not ghetto if it works, okay? Okay, so first things first, I use, Oh, hopefully everything will focus. I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've been using this for, since it came out, so less than a year. It's my favorite primer, so I definitely recommend. Usually it's always sold out. So good luck finding it. Next, I use my Morphe sponge. I do not use it. I do not use a beauty blender anymore because I'm not gonna lie, this works a lot better if you see my old videos. The first time I ever used this, I hated it and I didn't know why all these beauty gurus were using it and now I love it. But like I had to use it a couple times for it to like be good for me, I don't know. I don't know why it works so much better than beauty blender, like I don't know why it blends better, it feels better, it just does better than a beauty blender, but like it does. It's more like dense, like I don't really know I'm making stuff up at this point, but it does work a lot better. I just use old ones because I'm too lazy to order more and I'm not patient enough to wait for them to come in because I don't have a Morphe store where I live or close by. Not even, I don't even think there's a Morphe store in Canada. Morphe, step it up. And then I use the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 420 and then I use the shade 310. This one's a little more yellowy. I've looked back at my old videos. I was using this color and I looked very yellow and jaundiced so I need to go find another shade. But right now I just mix both of them together and then I just put it all over my face. Okay, so once you put it down your neck, please don't stop at your jawline. Honestly, I please do not do that. I also put it on my ears just because I want everything to match and I put it on my eyes as well. I don't know why a lot of beauty gurus don't put their foundation on their eyes. It just like blows my mind. Like I'd rather just everything be all one and then work on the contour and everything. Like it just like, when I see videos like that, I'm like, why are you not putting it on your eyeballs? Like I just don't get it. Why do I look so perfect? I mean, I am perfect, but is this what I look like? Whatever. I, I didn't come here for quality content, okay? Anyways, so now that I've done that, now typically I would go in with my contour. Would I? No, that's a lie. What am I talking about? I would go in with my concealer, actually. I'd use the Shape Tape Tarte Concealer in Tan Sand. You've all seen this. Like, you can't tell me you've never seen this stuff. Sorry, but I'm not showing it to you. So I usually just put it in, obviously, in that triangle shape on your face because we all know the sun hits you in a certain way and you want the sun to hit you in the spots. So you gotta make triangles, yada, yada, yada. I don't put a lot on because one, I don't know how to blend it properly. Two, I think it looks way too cakey on me and I just like don't know how to do makeup properly so it just looks bad if I like, when I see like James Charles or somebody put like concealer on, it's like here, 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 here. And I'm like, Ugh. How do you blend that? Like it doesn't work. So next, oh I didn't even show up. See I'm failing at this already. Next I use my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the translucent color. I have tried the dark translucent powder and it is way too dark for me, which I was kind of disappointed. I wish I had like an in-between, like a medium shade because sometimes I feel like the translucent is too light on my skin, but I still prefer it to brights everything up. But I just kind of wanted something a little bit darker, but nobody makes that. I just have very, not awkward skin tone, but I just have a very, an abnormal, no. I'm just gonna say strange. I just have a very strange skin tone. One second you lose me in the dark and then the next I'm like Casper. So it's like really difficult to find makeup and I just go with the flow. If my makeup does not match, then it is what it is. I don't really care. Tell me it doesn't match, I still won't care. I'm still gonna wear the same thing. So next I use the Hourglass Foundation Stick in Sable, Sable, whatever, and I use this to contour. I will blend that out with a beauty blender and then after I will go in and do my forehead because my forehead is a little on the larger side. It's not too big, but it's big enough to be like, whoa. Why is it turning out so crazy on here, but not for me? 
See, this is why you need natural lighting to do this stuff because I look crazy on camera, but I don't look crazy in my mirror. Do I look crazy? I look crazy. Like, it looks like, you know what? I don't care. I don't really like anybody in my city anyway, so I'm not going to impress anybody. I'm just going to impress myself. So if I think I look good, I look good enough, okay? First, I'm gonna start off with the Bobbi Brown um, bronzer in the shade Golden Light number one and i'm going to take a morphe brush r2 and i use this to go on top of the contour that i already have just to carve it out a little more and just to give me a little more color okay now we're going to use the Too faced bronzer in the shade dark chocolate soleil mm, it smells so good use a little bit of that and just carve out the cheekbones just a little bit more just because it's not as strong i mean it looks very strong on camera but I mean, I'm gonna walk outside and be like, oh my god, Shanice, your makeup looks horrid. But you know, then that's normal for me. So it doesn't really matter if that's the case today. Because that's usually what happens. So we're just gonna pretend that it's okay. Right? Whatever. Who cares? Like I said, have no one to impress. Now that that is done, now we move on to blush. And right now I'm using the MAC blush in peaches. It's like a burnt orangey, pinky color. It's really pretty actually. I'm using the Morphe brush in E4. It's like my favorite blush brush. Just cause it's like kind of angled and it's just like perfect to just snatch on your cheekbones. And then I put it on my nose, just add a little rosiness on my forehead, my chin, and my cupid bow just to Give me more color. Why do I look plastic? Now I go in with my Morphe brush M438 and I take my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Honestly, so pretty. Like just, just look at that. Like that's amazing. Now we're gonna move on to eyes. I do my eyebrows last. I never know what palette to like dip into, but uh, I'm so cute, it's crazy. I'm gonna dip in, okay, rude. I'm gonna dip into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault. We're wearing black and cheetah print today. So I think I'm gonna go with like, just like neutral colors, maybe throw in like a dark brown, maybe some, probably not black because black's dangerous. We're gonna use a dark magic palette. Anyways, I go in with my NYX brush in the number 16 and I'm going to dip into the shade called and we're gonna use that as my transition color. Ooh, should we add a pop of color today? I'm starting to get ready very early because I am always the one who's running late, always there late, never on time. So I'm starting early and if I pop some color on here, I already know I'm going to like ruin it and I'm gonna have to go back and take it off and redo it. And I don't got time for that. So we're just gonna keep it simple like I normally would, okay? Now we're gonna dip into Mojo. It's like a very dark, Brown, it's almost like black, so we're just gonna be careful with that. And we're just going to take the same brush, but we're just going to softly put that in the outer corner and blend it around. Now that you can't really see what's going on because this lighting is way too harsh. Next, what are we going to do? Because I have no idea. Should I add green? Add like a pop of green for no reason? Sure. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Morphe M504 brush. It's a little more tapered, is that what people say? It's a little more pointed, I don't know. And I'm gonna dip into the green shade on the palette here. It's like an olive green. And I'm just going to take that, just a little bit of it, just to add a little bit of color, but like not much that you can really see. And I'm just going to put that on the outer V of my eyeball. I mean, it kind of looks like puke, but. That's okay. Like I said, not going anywhere to impress people. And clubs are dark, so you can't really see my makeup anyway, so. <laughs> and lashes cover everything. You know what I mean? Now that you've put a color on your eyeball that doesn't really make a difference, now we're going to dip into a shimmer shade. And I'm going to take Where Art Thou flat brush. I don't clean my brushes, this is disgusting. Like how do you clean your brushes? Who has time to clean their brushes one? Like how do you find the time to be like, hey, I'm gonna clean my brushes today, I have time to let them dry for a whole day and then I can use them again tomorrow. Who has time for that? Because I don't and I never think about it until I'm actually doing my makeup and now they're like disgustingly dirty with like red and I'm about to dip into a light brown. So that doesn't really work for me. I'm a disgrace to the makeup world. Now we're going to take my Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray my brush. A little too close there, a little drippy, drippy, drip, drip. And then we're gonna dip into the sparkly, see, I'm not a guru. 
there's like a sparkly yeah that one right there that sparkly brown color on the corner yeah we going to use that okay now we're gonna do the bottom lash line so we're going to take this morphe e36 brush now we're gonna dip into the first color we had the sh color the transition and we're gonna put that on our bottom lash line and we're gonna drag her down past your bag so it kind of covers the bags but it's not going to but it gives the effect that maybe you got sleep but you didn't Does anyone else make like weird faces when they do makeup like why sometimes i try not to and i'm just like so awkward i'm like like no i gotta go all in like you need to open your mouth stretch stuff then we're gonna take the same brush and dip into should i go with the blue or should i go with the green the green. I'm gonna dip into inside job. Not with this brush, what am I talking about? I'm gonna take a flat brush and clean it again on a Kleenex. <laughs> okay, we're using inside job. It's like a forest green and we're gonna put that on our water line. Then we're gonna blend that out with the E36 brush. Go back in with shh. We're just gonna blend that out and the green out with and the shh. Now we're going to take a Morphe M431 brush. It's a little tiny pointy brush. And we're going to dip into the Power Cut. It's like a more of a silvery color. And we're just going to put that in our inner Juana in the tear duct just to brighten your eyeball up. This is my favorite part of any eye look. It's just like the inner tear duct corner thing part. because It just makes a whole difference. But you got to get the right color in there. And this color probably not the best choice, but it's going to work. Like I said, don't have patience, don't have people to impress, don't have time. Actually, I should be impressing people because I don't have a boyfriend, but people in my city are whack, so don't care. Next, we're going to do our eyebrows. Now, this I'm going to do off camera because it takes too long, and when I do it under pressure on camera, it turns out worse. So I'm just going to show you what I use. This is broken. It doesn't have the spoolie thing on it anymore because I broke it off the day I got it. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. And then I throw on top the L'Oreal Paris Brow Gel. So I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I did my eyebrows obviously and obviously I did my eyes too because doing lashes on camera is nerve wracking as well. But I do use the Lily Lashes in the style Miami's. That's what I have on my eyes. I haven't worn these in forever. I feel like I have a sack of potatoes on my eyes right now, but that's okay. Oh, before that, I did put on a little tiny, tiny wing. I don't know if you can see that, but I used the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the color because I'm black. And I just put like a little tiny wing on because I do use black eyelash glue, the House of Lashes eyelash glue eyelash glue it's really good but sometimes i do mess up and i kind of like put it in the wrong places so i just put on a little liner just to hide the fact that i can't do anything right anyways so i did that typically i would put just a gloss on and call it a day but we're going glam because we gotta look the best so i'm gonna use the revlon lipstick in the color superstar brown it's a matte does it match whatever let's add a little bit of gloss because we're just no basic sorry <laughs> we're gonna use the mac dazzle gloss in moth to fame and we're just going to just a little bit just add a little to it you know cute okay next is jewelry i typically just put on these tiny little hoops like they're not mini mini but they're not like a hoop you know what i mean i can get it in wow so do people even use that joke anymore or is that just like my immature mind that is lonely and i have no friends i don't know and then i just put these rings on i don't know whoops i just put it i just put the rings behind my hand like you were gonna see them i use these rings these are just it's just my crown ring and then just another just solid just hello thank you just another like band. Um, they're both Pandora. That's basically it for jewelry. And oh, I forgot to set my face. Let's set my face. So I typically use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I really, 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 really want to use the Morphe setting spray, but I can't order that stuff to Canada because a bottle can't go on a plane. So Morphe, get a store in Canada so then I can actually use your products. Thank you, next. The best palette in the entire world. Don't at me, 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 me. Ow! Did I just wipe all my makeup off? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a bruise. Alright, so now that is done. Our makeup is done. Our hair is done. 
time to get dressed. Okay, so for my outfit, I am thinking of wearing this black crop top that I got from Princess Polly, a little bit of like a bell sleeve, very cute. And then this cute leopard print with a little tiny like cinch bow type deal here. We're gonna throw on a pair of black pantyhose and long thigh high socks. We're gonna finish with my favorite thigh high boots. So I'm gonna get dressed and I'll see you in a second. And here's the fit. You can see it. Can you see my boots? I'm gonna hide my kooka because not cute. So this black top is from Princess Polly. This skirt is from Princess Polly. These boots are from Aldo. So in Canada, it is super duper cold. So obviously I have to dress for the weather. It's not summer here. It's not always summer here. I have to dress for like snow. So I'm probably just gonna throw on a jacket and call it a night. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's a lot of work. Okay, so this is the fit. This is the final result. So this is it. This is the end of this video. I'm finished glam. Now you can kind of see like my makeup. This is what I did. It looks awful, but you put on Miami's and it hides everything. These are honestly the best lashes you'll ever use in your life. They're so glam. They go on so easily and they just make you look like a freaking queen. So that's it. Hair done, makeup done, nails done, jewelry on, clothes on, and I think that's it. I think I am ready to go out tonight. I'm excited because I haven't been out in a while and it's time to like hang out with the crew, you know, because I have so many friends. It's so crazy. <laughs> just kidding. This video is all a lie. I'm not going anywhere. I just dressed up because I wanted to dress up and like I'm about to take this stuff off. You know what? Might as well just take it off now because I'm not going anywhere. Look how bald I am. You're supposed to come off. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna go take my makeup off because I'm not actually going anywhere. But this is the end of my 24 hour challenge transformation video. Obviously, I was supposed to do it in 24 hours, but I'm pretty sure I did it in 72, but you guys don't know that. Well, now you do because I just told you. But that's okay, I am done this video. I feel like a queen, but I'm ready to take it off because <laughs> I'm wearing too much makeup. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss a post from me because you won't regret it. And also, if you haven't seen my Vlogmas videos, I don't know when this video is going up, but I did do Vlogmas. I'm probably failing at it at this point, but I did start it. So go watch my Vlogmas. I will link all my videos down below. And that is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Why don't I ever say my outro anymore? Bye, queens. Yes, queens. Yeah. Cute. Oh, whatever.